Hey guys, Ellie here from Zeek, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to drop ship from AliExpress to eBay, but in 2020. Of course, I will do this by using all of the amazing tools Zeek has to offer. I'm going to start with a PowerPoint and then jump into a live example. Make sure to stick around until the end for updates on some free offers. How to drop ship from AliExpress to eBay in 2020. AliExpress to eBay drop shipping tutorial for 2020. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with how the drop shipping from AliExpress to eBay model works. We broke it down into four parts. What you're going to do first is you're going to find selling opportunities on eBay. Once you find a selling opportunity on eBay, you're going to source a similar or same product from AliExpress. Then you're gonna take that product and list that product on eBay. Once you make a sale with that product, copy the address of the buyer and order the item from AliExpress directly to the buyer's address. Now, how to find winning products on AliExpress to sell on eBay. We have three steps that you can't go wrong with. So the best way is to get started with the competitor research analysis. Step number one, you're going to find dropshippers who use AliExpress as a supplier. Step number two, you're gonna check out their best selling items with at least five sales and no more than 10 competitors. And step number three, you're going to list the product on eBay with an optimized title. Now you guys, Zeek Analytics is going to help you with all of this and I am going to show you right now how to do it. All right guys, so step number one is how to find dropshippers who use AliExpress as a supplier. Now what you're going to want to do first in Zeek Analytics is jump into the settings, my settings. Then from there, you're going to go ahead and jump into search preferences. Here you're going to select China because we are searching for dropshippers that use AliExpress as a supplier. So this will give us the most relevant results. Once you select China, you're going to go ahead and save your preferences. And once you have all of your settings, you're going to go into the product research of Zeek Analytics. Here on this dropdown, you're going to select AliExpress. And in the search bar, you may type in whatever you would like. For this example, we are going to type in sunglasses and click on search. This will give us all of the sunglasses that are being sold on AliExpress. Here, you're gonna go down to the product list and how to find these dropshippers that use AliExpress as a supplier. It's really simple. So let's select a product. I'm going to select this one right here and I'm gonna go all the way to the right hand side and click on scan on eBay. Now, once you do that, all of the items that are being sold on eBay and the ones that are repeating means that these are all drop shippers using AliExpress as a supplier. So how you're gonna get into that profile, you're actually going to select all of the items and click on Zeek Selection. This will open up all the stats on eBay. The stats are really not that important at this time because we are just looking for drop shippers. You're gonna scroll down to the product list. And as you can see on the left hand side are all sellers that are international, which means they are drop shipping using AliExpress as a supplier. Now your next step is to pick a supplier with a high amount of a feedback score. So for this example, let's click on this seller by scan seller icon. This will give me all of the stats of this seller. All right guys, so now that we found a drop shipper who uses AliExpress as a supplier, we're gonna scroll down to the product list to check out some of the best selling items. All right guys, so product number one here, sold four times in the last 30 days. We are looking for at least five, but for this example, I'll just stick to this one. And here the C tells you how many competitors are using the same title. And you can see it's three, and the goal is to have no more than 10. So at least five sales and no more than 10 competitors. I know this says four, but we'll just use it as this example. So now, once you find a product, you're actually going to click on the title, which will open it up on eBay. And here on eBay, when you open up the product, this is where you can get all of the information that you need. This item has a length of one meter, and you may select a color, and selecting a color does change the price to $9.99. Here you can see the shipping is free, and the item location is China. 
Now, once you get all of this information, your next step is to find the same product on AliExpress. And there are many different ways of doing it. You may copy and paste the title of this product on Google and click on search, or you may also open up an image, right click and search Google for image, which is what I did. And when I did do that, I got a list of these items and I just searched for the ones where it said AliExpress. And I actually came across this item here. You can see when I select China and this color, with the length of one meter, the price for this product, $1.54. And on eBay, it's selling for $9.99. All right, so now that we have all of that information, your next step is to list the product to eBay with an optimized title. Now again, Zeke Analytics has all of the tools to make your dropshipping life super easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump into the Zeke Analytics title builder, which is located right here. You're gonna click on it. So let's say the keywords for this are magnetic USB cable. What you're gonna do is in the title builder, you're gonna paste those keywords words and you're going to go ahead and click on search. Now this will give you long tail keywords as well as generic keyword ideas that you can use in your title. Now why should you use these in your title? These long tail keywords right here tell you how many sales each item has that uses these long tail keywords in the title and of course the number of average searches. So you're going to want to use the keywords with the most average searches. This way you're your item will rank higher on the first page of eBay. And with that, you'll make sales. We also have generic keyword ideas, which are one word ideas, also gives you the average searches and the amount of sales. So this is a great tool to use because it will rank your product higher on the first page of eBay. And that is what you need to make sales. And it's super simple to use. How you're gonna build your title is you're actually just gonna go ahead and click on the long tail keywords, some short tail keywords, and this up here builds your title, which then you can copy and paste onto your eBay underneath the product description. All right guys, so jumping back into our presentation, important tip, how to make sure to work with a reliable supplier on AliExpress. What you're going to do is look on the sales history, minimum of 10 orders, look on the seller level, minimum of 4.5, and look on the product star rating. Again, minimum of 4.5 stars. All right, guys, so back on AliExpress, let's check out this seller that we found this item with. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is look at the number of orders and that you can find right here. You can see that this item has 8,528 orders. And it's also not a bad idea to check out the reviews as well. The next thing you're gonna look at is the seller rating. Here you can see that the seller has a 4.8 for item as described, 4.7 for communication, and a 4.6, which is shipping speed. These are all above average. And this is what you should be looking for when looking for a supplier on AliExpress. Another great thing to consider is how long the store has been open. If it's been open for a couple of years, this is a good supplier. If it's been open for the last two months, try to avoid it. And last but not least, the product rating. Here we have a 4.8. Again, a 4.5 is the minimum criteria that you need to go with. All right, guys, to wrap up this video, I would like to extend an invitation for you to join the free course that will teach you step by step how to create your eBay account all the way to finding and selling your first item. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope it was a useful one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also like and subscribe to our channel. That way you can get notified on every new video that we post. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe and see you next time.